Hi everyone, today I'm going to be talking about my website and also uh, my blog. Now, I don't know whether you know or not, but basically um, I've launched my website coachingwithmichelletownsend.com and on there will be a blog and I'm really looking forward to uh, blogging. Um, I was a bit kind of like, I don't know whether I can do this kind of thing you know, because it's it's something that I'm not comfortable uh, with like say video I'm very comfortable uh, with uh, doing so I basically I got uh, my laptop and then I got a Darren's uh, laptop and this is a uh, Lennox and it just works much more freaking than Windows so I'm going to be writing in the moment and I've got a book oh, I'll show you yeah, so I got this uh, book, no, just a notebook, and um, I've been researching uh, blogging and how to blog and what was it, the structure of uh, blogging and, you know, because I'm dyslexic, sometimes um, I write how I speak and like some people don't always uh, get that because I had one comment on uh, Facebook the other day, oh, your grammar hurts, and I thought, that's a little bit rude, and I was going to say something back, and, um, you know, write something very long about the dyslexia, and I thought, no, because I knew this person had, say, his own kind of uh, difficulties in that, um, and so I left for it. I did put that I was like a dyslexic, but that, but that's all I did. Now, getting back to blogging, the the purpose for the blog is my website. Okay, so I'm a parent coach helping parents with children with autism and ADHD and other additional needs. And so what I want to do is uh, draw those new people to my website to my blog and that and later on there will be kind of like you know downloads so like a free ebook and stuff like that so what i've been doing is like what what are parents looking for like so i went on to google and um it's amazing because you can put in loads of kind of keywords and that and i didn't really know about keywords um but basically it's what you put in so like if i was uh, wanting to find out something like how do you uh, like uh, fix a computer it would come up and it would have loads and then if you go down a bit it gives you other alternative kind of like texts what people are searching for and if you go down more it gives you even more and i got a, a little tool um called keyword research or something i'll leave i'll try to leave it in the notes um down in the description so these are the, some of the things that i might write about i haven't decided what i'm going to do i'm going to start writing it today um what was it so google asked um what was it people asked how can i play with my autistic child now i think this is a really good one and i think this one I'm going to properly uh, write kind of first because it's very much what people may be looking for like yeah what is the signs of autism and, and everything like that but it's things like that uh, what activities can you do so that would be like maybe the first one and then the next one would be what activities can you do with your autistic child um what three types of play um then it's got what three strategies can benefit your child uh, with autism so what this is talking about i think is that it's it's more or less strategies for like your autistic kids to maybe keep them kind of calm and stuff like that i don't know whether i would use that title um I, I might find something a bit more specific but it would be like avoiding sensory overload so like bright lights 
you know like smells and sounds and stuff and stuff how to engage a autistic child in play so they're all very similar so before that i wrote some notes as well um about kind of what parents may be looking for so you if you have a autistic child um or a child with additional needs if you can just write down in the comments what kind of blog would you like me to write um then i can what i will do is write it and then i'll do a video on it <laughs> but what was that? i will probably do the writing one first and then do the video afterwards as well that way i can read it out loud which my dyslexics don't really like but i can do it in a way whereby it's more natural for me so uh, what are parents looking for so they're looking to find like uh, the answers at the end of the day so it could be around food issues could be around behavior sensory you know kind of like issues in that um or sensory play meltdowns parents anxiety now this was a really interesting one <coughs> because i went on to a few kind of i say facebook like uh, groups as well to get you know get my research in that and it seems that you no know, parents anxiety over um pre um say diagnosis and then during that kind of diagnosis assessments in that um and also then afterwards um and also you no know, during you know the whole child's you no know, i say life anxiety is always going to be up and down up and down um <clears throat> it's never going to be calm um i think for me even kind of like anxiety it's always a little bit up um but if I'm really stressed, I know because my body kind of tells me. So that will be a very interesting uh, blog uh, for me to uh, write. But I may what I, what I may do is just thinking about it because I don't do doing videos and I I mean I have notes here, but I don't really read off them. I just like you know. <clears throat> talk so i think that might be a, a good one to do but maybe have some bullet points uh, to it um <clears throat> differently with uh, sun cream um so again putting sun cream on um a child with autism um, because of uh, the sensitive kind of touch <coughs> can be very difficult so kind of like how to help with that and there was tons of comments and that and so no, that was just like one idea, and I was like, "Oh yeah, I was I, yeah, I get that one, because at least I can write about it, um, and I can take some notes and uh, from like other parents." Um, communication. So I, then I put nonverbal frustration, and then tools. So, you know, what tools can we use uh, for our like autistic kids? So down here is uh, visual aids, um, new pets, new macaton, um, um, say objects of uh, reference and stuff, using keywords. Um, I remember uh, when I was at, co at college, one guy would only be one keyword. And so if you was talking to him, it would be very much like the last word so we had to work around that um so yeah then one was climbing so it was a lot of children um can climb and they can run and they can run very fast and some don't some don't climb some have other uh, say mobility issues in that and so you no, know, the spectrum is so what was it like huge and then we haven't even got on to what was it like the kids with adhd i want to write about dyslexia as well um there's such such a lot um so 
this is going to be a whole year worths. Um, I'm just making kind of notes all the time. So anyway, guys, that is about kind of blogging and that. Um, so what's time now? It's half past 12 now. So I might kind of just uh, jot down some more ideas, do a bit more research. And then maybe, what was it, tomorrow when the kids are out, um, I might just go to, say, a coffee shop, probably the golf club, and just do some work, actually get down and do some blogging. I'm going to pick one. Um, I don't know when you are watching this, and so the blog may be out already. But, like, if you are thinking of starting a blog, um, I recommend um, Bluehost. They are very, very good uh, for websites. And if, what was it, you are wanting to do a blog, they are very reasonable. I paid, I think, £27 for the year. And that's for the, and you get a free domain name for, um, what was it, I think, a year? Or did I pay for two years? I can't, can't remember. But basically, the longer you go, what was it? Yes, that's it. My husband paid £27 for that a year. And then, what was it? I think I paid about £37 for two years. And that. Um, but, I mean, don't go. Do not go to GoDaddy. They are a rip-off. Like, my husband was paying too like much. And it was only by watching another video that... I came across Bluehost and I always paid monthly but because it was so cheap um, it was really good and you can put plugins in your WordPress and if you don't know about how how to do it it's so easy like literally <clears throat> there's two ways you can uh, make your blog or, or website you can allow Bluehost to you know, do it for you or you can do it yourself. I'm not too sure. Like I, like I did want to do it myself, and that took a long time. So you no, know, but once it's up, if it's up, then it's up, <clears throat> and it's your website anyway, and you can basically decide what you want to do with it. <clears throat> anyway, I will update you in a few days' time. I would imagine my blog, I want to really get my blog out this week. Um, so if if I can narrow down what I'm going to write about today <clears throat> and outline, and then I can basically uh, do the work um, tomorrow because tomorrow BT um, is coming out to change our sockets and that um, for the internet. Tuesday the builders and that are going to be coming back so yeah <clears throat> anyway I will see you very very soon thanks for watching I know it's a little bit different but maybe if like if you are brand new to the channel and you haven't what was it seen me before make sure that you subscribe to the channel because I'm going to be doing some more kind of blogging um talks and that <clears throat> Um, because it's a part of what I'm doing now as well as a coaching so I'll, I'll probably will be doing some coaching videos on here to put on the website as well so yeah anyway guys thanks um, so please like comment and subscribe and I will see you tomorrow tomorrow's video is going to be a different video it's going to be what I eat in a day so we're going to have some new playlists anyway ta-ta Bye for now.